Hey, graphic designers, are you organized? Is your file structure set up in such a way that it's systematically organized in a way where you can find even the simplest thing? Hmm, if not, you might wanna take a look at this video today. Hi, my name is Tim Hikes and I would like to welcome you guys to my video today. Today I'm going to talk about how you are setting up your files for post-production, pre-production or whatever type of production you're getting ready to produce with your designs. If you're like me and you're a professional designer, you might have an issue where a client you've worked with years ago might come back and ask you for a certain file that you had and that might cause a little problem because you might not have that file anymore. So it's easier to set up your design files in such a way that makes it very easy for you to find it. So let's dive directly into this systematic system that I have set up for myself when I go to design for clients. When I'm working on projects, I start off with six folders. These folders are number one, a working folder, two, a reference material folder, three, a links folder, four, a draft folder, five, a comp and sketch folder, and six, a final folder. Now, let me explain what goes in each of these folders. The working folder holds the current files that you're currently working on. So if you're currently working in Illustrator, there should be a set of files that go in this folder that you're currently working on. These files should all be structured with a naming convention. This naming convention is, first, the name of the file, secondly, the type, the size, and the version. So, for example, I'm currently working on my poster for the Get Out the Vote campaign, which I call Go TV. <laughs> so, the name of the file is Go TV, the type is a poster, the size is 11 by 17, and then I have my versions. And the next folder is the reference material folder. The reference material folder houses any inspirational materials that I might use in producing my design. The links folder houses any links that I use in my design, such as I might have a PSD that's linked in an AI file. It houses the textures or any type of in images that I have associated with the design file. The draft folder houses the different JPEGs that I've produced. So as I create images, sometimes I turn them into JPEGs just to see what they look like. This is awesome because now you can see how your design progresses. And so having a naming convention JPEG in a systematic order helps you to really look at your files and your designs and how they come along. The comps and sketch folder has sketches in there and comps that I've shown to clients to help me work through ideas. Sometimes I work with my clients in a workshop type fashion where they will come along and we can draw and work together to you know, produce what they might consider to be a final image. And these all go into this file and I work from the comp file to help me produce you know, my working files. The final folder houses the final files for print production. So these include my AI files such that has different color separations that may need it or any other final file such as a PSD that they might need to go to the printer. This folder is for printing only. Uh, sometimes it might have a separate folder in the inside of it that might house the final AI file so I would know exactly where I can go to get that file if I ever need it without thinking. Located in the description below, I've given you a mock file system. So you can use these files to work on your files or to help you in moving forward in your creative career. This has been a short video today and I just wanted to show you how I structure my files. Now this is definitely not rocket science, but it does help when it comes to finding folders or when it comes to you putting together your portfolio pieces and trying to find those old pieces that you used in your portfolio once before. I want to thank you guys for stopping by looking at this video and I hope that your files are now organized. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. If you enjoyed this video today, please take the opportunity to subscribe to my channel where we can learn and grow together.